A woman is more likely to be impressed and attracted to someone when she gets ignored. Women crave for sex more than men do. Consuming chocolate. Before intimate activities heightens arousal, engaging in sexual activity two to three times per week results in a boosted immune system. Sex boosts immunity to pain. By triggering hormones that increase the pain through threshold women's breasts, may enlarge during intercourse, providing pleasure for men. Only 18% of women achieve orgasm through vaginal penetration alone during intercourse. Women's sex is the most powerful weapon in the war between women and men. When a woman puts your dick in her mouth, it indicates that she is more content than when you have vaginal sex. Girls are like female tigers. If she sees her boyfriend with another girl, she becomes temperate. If a girl likes you, she will always play with her hair while talking to you. Females are better than males at remembering faces. Psychology suggests that women with smaller breasts may experience less sexual arousal during intercourse. The warmth of a woman's vagina can cause a burning sensation in men's genitals. 83% of surveyed women express satisfaction with the length of their partner's penis. The typical length of a vagina is 3 to 4 in, but it has the capacity to expand by 200% when sexually aroused. It's a myth that one gender has a monopoly on desire. Sexual desire varies widely among individuals, irrespective of gender. Consuming chocolate has been associated with a sense of pleasure, thanks to its chemical composition, including serotonin and phenylethylamine. However, its direct effect on sexual arousal is more psychological than physiological. Sexual activity can indeed lead to a release of hormones, such as endorphins and oxytocin, which can increase pain tolerance. Physical responses during sexual activity, including changes in breast size or genital engorgement, are natural physiological reactions aimed at enhancing the sexual experience for all parties involved. It's well documented that many women do not achieve orgasm through vaginal penetration alone, highlighting the importance of understanding and embracing diverse sexual preferences and practices. When you kiss, your body experiences a significant oxytocin release, leading to an improved mood and a reduced stress level. Some women derive pleasure from licking their breasts and genitals. Women do like men who can change their mood or make them laugh more than those rich, hot men. After masturbation, around 50 million sperm are released urination during intercourse. Research suggests that, on average, women might be better than men at remembering faces. This skill is thought to be linked to social and evolutionary factors rather than to sexual dynamics. The body's physical responses during intimacy, including temperature changes or expansion, are natural and vary widely among individuals. A sense of humor can be a significant factor in attraction, often valued for its ability to create a positive and enjoyable connection between people. Personal grooming and the use of products like lipstick can be forms of self-expression and personal care. The choices one makes in their appearance are personal and can be a way to express identity and confidence. The human body responds in fascinating ways to emotional states, including anticipation. For instance, physiological responses such as heart rate and even facial hair growth can be influenced by psychological factors, illustrating the interconnectedness of mind and body. Laughter isn't just a response to humor. It's a bridge between people fostering connection and reducing stress. Sharing moments of joy and laughter can strengthen relationships, making them more resilient. The human reproductive process is a marvel of biology. Following ejaculation, sperm embark on a challenging journey, a testament to the complexities of human reproduction and the continuation of life. 
Urination during intercourse can occur and is typically a sign of a condition known as female ejaculation or coital incontinence, not impurity. Open discussions about bodily functions are vital for a healthy sexual relationship. Girls apply lipstick for around 2.7 kilograms throughout their lifespan. A man's beard experiences its most rapid growth when he looks forward to engaging in sexual activity. Masturbation is a normal and healthy part of human sexuality. It can be a way to explore one's body, understand personal desires, and contribute to emotional well-being. The use of makeup, including lipstick, varies widely among individuals. It can be a form of artistic expression, a boost to confidence, or simply a part of one's daily routine. Studies suggest that overall relationship satisfaction often correlates more with emotional intimacy and mutual respect than with physical attributes or sexual performance. Attraction to different physical traits, including facial hair, is highly subjective and varies widely among individuals, reflecting the diversity of human preferences. The human body responds in fascinating ways to emotional states, including anticipation. For instance, physiological responses such as heart rate and even facial hair growth can be influenced by psychological factors, illustrating the interconnectedness of mind and body. Oxytocin's role extends beyond sexual encounters. It's instrumental in maternal behaviors bonding, and even in forming social ties, underscoring the hormone's importance in human connections. Our ability to remember faces, names, and emotions plays a significant role in how we form and maintain relationships. This cognitive aspect of our social interactions highlights the importance of emotional intelligence in fostering meaningful connections. Scent plays a subtle yet profound role in human attraction, with pheromones and individual body odors influencing social and sexual behavior in often unconscious ways, reminding us of the biological underpinnings of attraction. Cultural norms and values significantly influence our attitudes towards sexuality, shaping how we express ourselves and engage in relationships. Recognizing and respecting cultural diversity is crucial in understanding the multifaceted nature of human sexuality. Body Image and Self-Esteem A positive body image and healthy self-esteem are foundational to enjoying sexual relationships. Nurturing love and acceptance for oneself enhances the capacity to engage in fulfilling relationships with others. Consent and Communication Consent is the cornerstone of all sexual encounters, emphasizing the need for clear, enthusiastic, and ongoing communication. Respecting boundaries and practicing open communication foster trust and respect in any relationship. Technology has transformed the way we connect, offering new avenues for meeting people and maintaining relationships. However, it also presents challenges in navigating digital communication and ensuring authentic connections. Mental health significantly affects relationships and sexual well-being. Addressing psychological well-being is essential for fostering healthy, satisfying relationships that are based on mutual care and understanding. Sexuality continues to be an important aspect of life as we age dispelling myths that desire and capacity for intimacy diminish with age. Embracing changing aspects of sexuality is key to maintaining a healthy sexual identity throughout one's life. The darker a woman's vagina, the more enticing its enigmatic charm. Like, comment, and subscribe for more from the wisdom of psychology.